Hi everyone, it's uh, Nerf522 here. I hope you guys are all well. Uh, today we will be uh, playing like Tal. Uh, what I mean by this is we're doing the first game of our Tal series. Uh, Tal being a very aggressive player, I thought it'd be fun to go ahead against some lower rated people and really play like Tal, sacrifice a lot of pieces and try and get our opponent checkmated. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm on a different account today. Uh, one of my friend's accounts who let me borrow it. Uh, just because we're playing against someone low, just so it doesn't affect my 95.2 ratings, and after I do this series, try out a few games and end up putting one on YouTube, I don't want my rating to be back in 1000. So we're just matching a game, yes we are playing white, Tal always did better with his attacks when he played white, and he always played e4. Okay, from here Tal would usually go knight to f3, and we might see our knight, uh, the knight coming out to f6 here, uh, this is a pretty standard defense. I haven't played someone who's rated 6A2 for a while. Okay, so from here, Tal will probably play his pawn up to D4. Tal always likes to control the center. But now we've had a counter gambit thingy. Um, but I'm presuming if he goes here, and then we play a knight up to um, C3 if he takes. Um, so Tal always likes to attack the weak squares such as F7 and H7 after the king had castled. Uh, which was always very key. Um, there were some great games against uh, Fisher, uh, Petrosian. Petrosian was the hardest player ever to beat, which Tao played against. Um, so hopefully, you know, it should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, Gesture Joker, I, I only really use this account for, for blindfold chess, which is why the rating is so low. Uh, my blindfold chess rating is 522. Alright, so let's think about what Tao would do. Tao would probably play his bishop up to c4 in this position. Um, just going for attack on the f7 pawn, and hopefully, um, then we will be able to sacrifice some pieces and open up the position. Okay, so now this, um, now he's asking for a trade here, um, so I think we should trade that off, and then after he takes back, we play our knight up to g5, and then our queen into h5, and really start to attack the king side here. Okay, so yeah, knight up to g5 now. Um, this is always what Tal would do, go ahead and attack the king side. And as little as move 20, Tal would usually win. Um, some, well, not usually win, but in the games where he was immortal, I could say. Um, in Tal's like, immortal games, he would just attack and attack and attack. Of course, it didn't always work, um, but sometimes I saw when he would get a, you know, just down to a queen and a bishop. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack like Tal. We are threatening queen takes f7 check. Um, which there should always, there should also be a mate somewhere in a couple moves, um, as well. But this, uh, obviously is, the queen is still on c4, so we're gonna have to attack that queen away at some point soon. Um, but we're also threatening the pawn on b2. So, of course this isn't really like a proper tile game. He just blundered his, uh, he just blundered his queen. Um, but obviously it is sort of like a game. Okay, so are you ready? Here's the Tau game. Okay, so this is what, this is the position the Tau would usually get into, coordinating his queen and his knights. And, we should be able to mate somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. Knight here, and then the king is forced to c8 right, and then we play our queen to d8, uh, and that is your Tau checkmate for you. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty good, um, I hope you guys enjoyed our Tau our Tau games. Um, obviously, as I said, we were playing against someone rated very low, um, so it probably wasn't much of a Tau game. But this is how Tau attacked, you know, um, really a key move, any normal Grandmaster, a normal Grandmaster would probably make, uh, you know, the normal Grandmaster would probably take the pawn here, if I'm honest with you. Um, but, you know, not up to b5, um, and then queen c4, obviously these are weak moves. Um, but Tal definitely attacked like this. Alright, so thanks so much for watching one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wish you good luck with your chess, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.